All right, this video is going to show you how to change your column widths or row heights. Okay, well, column widths, why would we need to change that? All right, the width is this distance right here. All right, well, as you can see, this sentence I had typed before, it goes through column B, C, and D, except it is only in column B. If I click over here, I can't, it doesn't show up in our formula bar, neither does it here only in column B, which means that it is only in column B. So what happens, right now it's okay, but if I decide to type something in this column next to it, column C, watch what happens. Right? Now that there's something here, it gets stuck within this width. You can't see any more of it. If you click on it, you can see the whole thing up here, but we want the whole thing to show down here. Right? So we need to change the width of column B to fit this. Right, a quick way to change your column width is, all right, so I want to change column B. I have to go to the right side of it. In between column B and C on the line, you're going to have a cursor that looks like a plus sign with arrows going to the sides. Right, once you have that, you click and then you drag, hold and drag it. Right, you can see it moving. Right, so that's not far enough. We've got to keep going. Right now it is big enough. Now I can see the whole thing with this over here. Right, so that's one way to do it. Also, just a tip: if you have something, if you have a sentence like this in here, an even easier way is go back up between your two columns and you double click up there, and it will automatically adjust for you. That's a lot quicker than even the other way. The second way is: let's say I want all of my columns to be this wide. Or you can see these ones are a lot skinnier. I want all of them to be this size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up on column B and I'm going to right click on it. All right, when you right click on column B, you can go down to column width and this shows me how exactly what size it is. So it's 27.29. Right, so I'm going to cancel out of that. All right, going back up to B, I'm going to click and hold on column B and then drag my mouse over to the right, right to these columns. So I have now all of these columns selected. Again, you put your mouse somewhere on top of one of these columns and you right click again. Go back down to column width and this time you can type in your column width. Alright, so 29, we're just going to say it's going to be 29.5. Make an even number. All right, so I push OK. What look what it did. It automatically put them all exactly the same size, 29.5. Right, so if you have to do more than one cell and you want them all to look uniform, this is your quickest way for doing it. Alright, so that's column width. What happens if we wanted to make the rows bigger? Right, it's the same thing. Right, if I want to make row two fatter, right, I go down between row two and three, and you can see I get the kind of the same bar as between the columns, except it goes the arrows go up and down. So I click, hold, and I drag it until where I want it. Right now I've got it bigger. Right, so if I want to do more than one cell, I click and hold on col row two and drag down to row three, four, and five. I right click on them and go to row height. And I can type in here whatever I want. Let's say I'll just say three. All right, so now they're all itty little bitty. Probably not practical because you can't use them for anything. But you can see it's an easy way to change your column settings. All right, and remember up here you have your undo button. All right, undo if you've done something and you made a mistake, click your undo. All right, so that's how we change our column widths and cell heights.